nation. Listen. Listen. It's still early, y'all. It's still early. Alright. I understand we stuck with Russ for right now. But let's just go ahead and leave Russ out of the picture right now, young. Yeah? Like, Russ trying his hardest right now to fit in. The best way he can, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand it. He went from being the number one option to now being the third option on the team. Like, y'all got to understand. Like, now, I mean, even with LeBron out, like, I don't know. It's something even with the Lakers, with, with Los Angeles, Lakers lights, with them lights in Staples Center. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But one thing I do know is that Frank Vogel be pissing me off with some of these starting lineups that he be putting out there. Because it's like, come on, man. Why is Avery Bradley starting? Now, don't tell me it's because of defensive purposes. Because we not stopping nobody on the defensive side of the ball. So, why the fuck is Avery Bradley starting? And he haven't been with us. He just signed with us, what, the first week of the season? Why is he getting minutes like this? Why is he a starter? Why is Taylor Tucker playing the three guard when he should be playing the two guard with Russ? Come on, Frank. What are you doing? Where the hell is Sudoku at? Another 6'8 wing. Like, I'm lost here. I'm lost with what, what Frank Vogel is doing with this team right now, dog. Like, he's putting out, he putting in lineups that, that's just not mashing together, bro. You got DeAndre Jordan and Anthony Davis on the goddamn court together. DeAndre Jordan ain't grabbing no rebounds. This ain't the DeAndre Jordan from the Clipper days. This is DeAndre Jordan from last year with the Brooklyn Nets. He hasn't done shit. On the defensive side of the ball, nothing. How the fuck do Giannis go for 47, shooting 18 from 23? Now I get it, the referees was giving them bullshit-ass calls, but it's like, come on. We got three big men. Dwight Howard should be most likely... If, listen, this is what killing me with AD, okay? This is my thing with AD. AD is damn near seven feet tall, getting guarded by six, 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 seven people, six, seven guards, and, and, and probably like six, eight players. AD, if you don't take your ass down in that post and post these motherfucking young, short ass players up, what are you doing? Like, I get tired of seeing motherfucking AD pulling up for 15 footers. Yeah, okay, he make them, but still, it's like, dog, just think about it for a second. If you motherfucking just put yourself, post up somebody in the fucking paint, that's going to immediately draw a double team. Immediately draw a double team. There you go with the kick out. Like, it's just simple, basic fucking ba basketball, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm lost right now. I'm lost. You playing basketball at the top of the key when your ass should be at the underneath of the ball. Like, come on, AD, man, get it together. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, listen. The only bright star, bright light right now is Taylor Tucker. Through three games right now, he's averaging 23 points right now. Shooting my fucking what? 49, basically 50% from the field. 40% from my fucking from three. Like, what are we doing here? Carmelo can only hit threes at home. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Ken Bazemore, I don't know where the fuck he came from, but we got to get rid of him. He's making me miss Caldwell Pope now. I'm ready to go back and get Caldwell Pope now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see Kyle Kuzma out here taking shots. Like, this ain't this ain't Laker basketball right here that I'm watching. Every team that come up in Staples, they disrespecting us. Talking shit to us. We losing my fucking third quarter leads, only putting up 12 points in a quarter. What is going on with this squad, man? Man. But like I said, man, it's early in the season, man. I just had to vent that off, man, because, like, I'm, I'm like, it, we go up and down. Like, we'll start the game off nice. Or, or sometimes we just come out with no energy. Then the next night we come out with all this energy, and, and, and next night we don't. Like, it's just an up and down team. Like, every time I look at the box score, I'm always saying negative, 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 negative. Like, some guy changed, mo. Some guy changed. And it got to be the goddamn rotation, man. Like, 
You can't keep signing people and don't give them playing time when they need it. Ken Bazemore is not, ain't hitting shit for real, for real. Like, come on, man. Open up that goddamn bench, man. Open up the bench. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm out, man.